I'm doing two different things. One is photography, where I take pictures of uh, old flowers, um, brush twigs, and uh, I put them on old tin, old wood, and photograph them that way. And uh, it's almost a way of uh, showing the beauty, not just in the bloom, but in the afterwards as they die off, that there's still beauty in life beauty in old things. And the other part of what I do is printmaking, which I use, I start off with vintage photographs. And uh, so again, it's a way of bringing back something that's long gone and, and giving it new life. When I take each sheet and I assemble them all together and run it through the press, and depending on how wet or how dry I make the paper, I get the sharper images, or I can make it flow and make it look a little more watery. And I will touch up a lot with watercolor paints on top of it as necessary, or if I don't like how a color came out, I can always change it while it's still wet. And again, that's part of the, the process, because when I run it through the press, I never know exactly how it's going to come out because I get all different bleeds and textures from the water and from the matte medium. And, and that's half the fun of it for me. And if I do a large piece like that and it doesn't come out, it's like another couple weeks it takes me to reset up that piece because essentially the photographic paper is destroyed in the process. So I have to start all over again. I enjoy creating. I enjoy the process of creating. I like going to the flea market and hunting for the old frames and restoring the old frames and then finding the right frame to fit the right photograph that I've taken or the right piece of artwork. And uh, so it's a fun adventure, but it's also, uh, you know, having somebody come in and stop dead in their tracks because they saw something that they liked is uh, always a big pickup for me, just making, experimenting, and seeing what new things I can do or pull out of what I've been doing, something new.